This is Ibo Area TV. Top 10 richest and most successful Ibo businessmen in Nigeria. Today, we shall be looking at a list of top 10 Ibo billionaires. This list will be restricted to entrepreneurs only. Politicians and individuals whose source of wealth cannot be traced are excluded from the list. We compile this list based on the following criteria. By the value of their shares held in quoted companies, the size and market share of their companies, the number of companies they own and its estimated value, the market value of their company's brand, the impact of their companies on the Nigerian economy. In a country with a population of over 160 million inhabitants and millions of businesses, these 10 Igbo entrepreneurs diligently carved their names in the sand of time by taking advantage of the fastest growing business opportunities in Nigeria. Number 1. Oji Uzokalo, Sluk Group, Aviation Shipping, Publishing, Manufacturing. Oji Zokalo is the chairman and founder of Slug Holding, a West African conglomerate with interest in shipping, banking, oil trading, manufacturing, and the media. Oji Zokalo is also the chairman of the Daily Sun and New Telegraph newspaper in Nigeria. He served as the governor of Abia State, Nigeria from May 29, 1999 to May 29, 2007. Prior to his election, he served as the chairman of the Bonu Water Board and the chairman of the Cooperative and Commerce Bank Limited. Kalo was also a member of the Progressive People's Alliance, PPA, and the chairman of the PPA Board of Trustees. He was a party's candidate for president in April 2007 general election. He got a start in business at the age of 19 after being expelled from a Nigerian university for spearheading a series of student riots. He borrowed $35 from his mother and started trading commodities like palm oil, rice and sugar. He diversified into furniture manufacturing and transportation and became a millionaire by the time he was 20. He hit the big time in the early 80s when the Nigerian military government awarded him lucrative contracts to import and supply arms and ammunition to Nigeria's military and defense forces. He was previously a governor of Abia State in Nigerian Southeast. Number 2. Cosmas Madoka Kuscharis Group Automobile Manufacturing with only one dollar, Cosmas Madoka has managed to build a multi-million dollar business empire spanning automotive spare parts, technology, medical equipment, and agriculture. His success is quite an inspiring one, and he graces the cover of the November 2015 issue of Forbes Africa. For the magazine, he is dubbed the $500 million survivor. His feature outlines his success story. Seven years without pay, showering in the streets, scrapping with his brother, fired by his uncle, fired at by his wife's uncle and more. Cosmas Madoka shares how he survived war, tragedy and family fights to turn $1 into $500 million. Today, he sits on a business empire which is embarking on building the first assembly plant for Ford pickup trucks in Nigeria as well as a multi-million dollar agricultural project. Koscharis Group is also a franchise holder of luxury car brands Rolls Royce, Range Rover, Jaguar and BMW. Number 3 Pascal Dozier, MTN Nigeria, Diamond Bank, Banking, Telecom. Mr. Pascal G. Dozier is the co-founder, partner, and non-executive partner at the African Capital Alliance. He is the founder of Kunok Limited. He was also the founder of Diamond Bank PLC. 
Mr. Dozier served as the Chief Executive Officer of Diamond Bank PLC. He served as the President at the Nigeria Stock Exchange. He serves as a member of the Advisory Board of Kaizen Ventures Partners. Mr. Dozier serves as the Chairman of MTN Nigeria Communications Limited and the Co-Chairman of the Commonwealth Business Council Board. He serves as the Chairman of Kunok Limited. Addic Insurance Limited, Aluminium Extrusion Industry PLC. Mr. Dozier served as the chairman of Diamond Bank PLC until December 31, 2006. He served as the chairman of the Nigerian Economic Summit Group and served on the Lagos Business School Advisory Board. He was a council member of the Nigerian Stock Exchange. Mr. Dozier serves as a non-executive director of Gulf of Guinea Energy Limited. Mr. Dozier served as a director of the Central Bank of Nigeria. He was an economic advisor for Niger State Government. Mr. Dozier was a member of the Vision 2010 Council. He is the recipient of National Award of Officer of the Order of Niger. Mr. Dozier holds honorary doctorate degrees in Law, Management Technology, and Business Administration from three universities. Mr. Dozier holds an MSc in Econometrics from City University, London, and a BSc in Economics from the London School of Economics and Political Science. Number four, Chief Cletus Ibeto. Ibeto Group, Trading, Manufacturing, Oil and Gas. A grass to grace Bologna, Cletus Ibeto, grew from an apprentice in his paper shop to the owner of the largest conglomerate in eastern Nigeria. He is the head of Ibeto Group, the largest business enterprise from Newi, a city unique for its entrepreneurial spirit. In the early 80s, when the oil crash and a controversial input licensing system was making a dent on the Nigerian manufacturing environment, Newi went through a growth period. The Ibeto Group, under the leadership of Cletus Ibeto, was a pace setter in the region and nation's trading and letter manufacturing development. Cletus Ibeto started out as a spare parts import dealer after spending some time as an apprentice in a motor parts business a gradual step taken from many eastern traders. In March 1988, he stopped direct importation of lead acid automotive battery and plastic motor accessories after completing his factory in Inewi by 1995. The Ibeto Group had become one of the largest auto spare parts manufacturing outfits in the country. On October 2, 1996, he established Ibeto Petrochemicals Industries Limited, which is engaged in the blending of oil lubricants as well as the production of various types of petroleum products for local and international markets. The company owns the largest liquid storage facilities for petroleum products in Nigeria, with a capacity of over 60,000 metric tons located at the Apapa Wharf and Ibru Jetty Complex, Lagos. Number 5. Tony Ezenna, Orange Group, Pharmaceutical, Oil and Gas. Tony Ezenna, as he's often called, started out with a family chemist shop, Eastern Industrial Chemist in Port Harcourt, River State, as an intern in 1975 and worked there for 13 years before he opted to chart a course for himself. Having been well honed in the art of drug sales, the young Tony, on July 28, 1988, he registered and incorporated his personal company, Orange Drugs Limited. The company started out from its office in Ikenebu Oweri, Imo State, in 1989, but the urge to play in the big league brought him to Lagos, starting off from Okupe Estate, Mende. Maryland Lagos. It was from Maryland base that the company in 2001 relocated to its present head office at Town Planning Way, Ilukbaju, Lagos. 
Orange Drugs Limited started off with an authorized fully paid share capital of 5 million naira and engaged in the importation, marketing and distribution of drugs manufactured in Indonesia, Italy, India, Germany and the United States of America and later joined the beauty care segment through the importation of soaps, creams and other beauty products. By 2006, the company commenced the local production of different brands of soap in Lagos. Number 6. Leo Stan Eke Xenox Computer Technology Mr. Leo Stan Namdi Eke FNCS OFR serves as the Chairman and Chief Executive Officer of Xenos Technologies Limited and BuyRightsAfrica.com Limited. Mr. Eke is the founder of Tax Direct. Mr. Eke is a first-rate Indian trend economist and risk manager, and he was honored as an ICON of Hope by President Orishegun Obasanjo October 1, 2002, for his sustained pioneering effort in the area of information technology and also as a pride to modern Nigeria. He has a record of incisive entrepreneurship and his vision to computerize Nigeria has reshaped the history of information technology in the third world. He pioneered desktop publishing and computer graphics in Nigeria with Tax Systems Limited in 1989. He also pioneered ICT products distribution in West Africa with Technology Distribution Limited, which is the number one ICT distribution company in Sub-Saharan Africa. He pioneered the first Nigerian internationally certified computer brand, Xenos Computer, and recently Super Wifi, with the launch of Xenos Telecoms, amongst other pioneering efforts. He is known for leading a team that delivered the largest single ICT project in Nigeria within a record time has earned several awards for his industry, few of which are Officer of the Order of the Federal Republic, OFR, Fellow Nigerian Computer Society, FNCS, Fellowship of NPAN, Distinguished Fellow of the Nigerian Law School, Life Membership of the Institute of International Affairs, over 15 honorary fellowship awards from federal and state polytechnics. He hold Doctor of Business Administration, Imo State University, Doctor of Technology, Federal University of Technology, Oweri, Doctor of Science, Federal University of Agriculture, Makodi, etc. Mr. Eke holds a Bachelor of Science degree in Economics from the Punjab University, India, and a postgraduate degree in Risk Management from Nottingham University, England. Number 7. Sir Emeka Ofo, Chrome Group, Oil and Gas, Marine. Sir Emeka Ofo serves as Chairman of the Board of Guinea Insurance, PLC. He is the Group Executive Vice Chairman of the Chrome Group. A dynamic and an articulate entrepreneur with nearly three decades of business experience, he has built a vast business empire with interest in oil and gas, insurance, power sector, telecommunications, and logistics, both in Nigeria and overseas. A member of the board of directors of many blue chip companies, among which are Chrome Oil Services Limited, Chrome Engineering and Environmental Service Limited, Chofan Communications Limited, and Nimec Investment Limited, Castex Engineering Limited, Global Scan System Nigeria Limited. He was a chairman of the board of ERHC Energy Incorporated USA, a Houston, United States of America based independent oil and gas company focused on oil and gas exploration and production in the Gulf of Guinea. He has been honored by many corporate bodies, non-governmental organizations, governments, and countries. He was honored a few years ago by the Romanian consulate in Nigeria for his invaluable contribution towards the development and enhancement of bilateral relations between Nigeria and Romania. He established the Sir Emeko Foundation, 
a non-governmental organization a couple of years ago. The foundation seeks to alleviate the suffering of the less privileged in society through philanthropy, but focusing primarily on giving hope to the hopeless. He is a member of the governing board of Books for Africa Worldwide. Number 8. Chief Atto Eze, Atlas Oranto Petroleum, Oil and Gas. Atho Eze is the founder, owner and serves as the chairman of Atlas Petroleum International Limited, which has assets in Nigeria, Liberia, Guinea and the Gambia. Atho Eze is a Nigerian businessman and reputed to be one of the wealthiest men in Africa. In 1970, Eze attended secondary school in Inquire, Nigeria. He studied chemical and mechanical engineering at California State University, Long Beach, from 1974 to 1978. In November 2015, Prince Atto Eze bought himself a brand new Falcon airplane and it was delivered to him at Akano Ebian International Airport, Enugu State. Number 9. Vincent Amechi Obianodo, Young Shagro Motors. Rockview Hotels, Transportations, and Hotels. Vincent Amesio Bianodo founded the Young Shagro Motors Limited, a wholly owned Nigeria transport company, which has been in operation since early 70s and serves as its chief executive officer and chairman. He is the chairman of Young Shagro Transport, Rockview Hotels, Young Shagro Dredging, Vine Gas, Vine Oil and Yangsha Group Properties, YSG. He was a co-owner of Cellcom Telecoms, a fixed CDMA telecommunication company, which was later sold to the Visaphone in 2006. He has provided mass employment in the rural areas and also invested enormously in rural market development by building and subletting shops and stores. One of such notable edifices is the ultra-modern urban market in Onesha, located opposite famous Onesha Main Market in eastern part of Nigeria, which is presently the biggest market in West Africa, with about 3,000 shops, warehouses, and banking hall, landmass 10 acres, managed by Young Shagro Properties Limited a real estate company as well as a rural and urban market development company. In recognition of his contributions to the nation's economic growth, the federal government of Nigeria awarded him member of the Order of Niger, MON, in 2001. Chief Obianodo is married with children. Number 10. Tony Elumelu Hospitality agriculture, oil production, and power generation. Nigerian entrepreneur and investor Tony Alumelu owns a controlling interest in Transcop, a publicly traded Nigerian conglomerate with interest in hospitality, agriculture, oil production, and power generation. Tony is the chairman of Hess Holding, the United Bank for Africa, Transcorp and founder of the Tony Elumelu Foundation. Elumelu holds the Nigerian National Honors, the Commander of the Order of Niger, CON, and member of the Order of the Federal Republic, MFR. In 2011, New African Magazine listed him as one of the 100 most influential people in Africa, and a year later, he was recognized as one of the Africa's 20 most Powerful People in 2012 by Forbes magazine. He came into limelight in 1997 when he led a small group of investors to take over a small floundering commercial bank, Standard Trust Bank in Lagos. He turned it profitable within a few years and in 2005 he matched it with the United Bank for Africa. That banking group now has subsidiaries in 20 African countries and in the U.S. and U.K. Elumelu also owns extensive real estates across Nigeria and 
a minority stake in mobile telecom firm MTN Nigeria, among other assets. Thanks for listening to Igbo Area TV. Please subscribe to our channel for more updates on the Igbo people and all that crosses their paths. God bless you.